a friend of mine just left my office to come talk to me about um, some ways that they could save on um, planning for a funeral. And with a funeral home, if you don't have something in place. Um, and I said, well, these are three things that you can um, use. One would be um, the less emotional you are when you are planning a funeral and go down to the funeral home and you are negotiating with a level head the less you'll pay. Uh, funeral homes can be predatory, you know, after being in this business a long time, you come to realize that um, the more crying you're doing and you're unable to contain yourself, contain yourself, the more they'll charge you because they're able to upsell it. Those are salespeople in a sense. Um, and most funeral homes have salespeople that make a commission. So you think of that. The less emotional you are, the less you'll pay. Two, you can always buy your funeral products outside of a funeral home. You don't have to pay um, for a casket or a cemetery plot, things like that at your um, at the funeral home at the time of negotiating. And that's um, at every funeral home across the board. And the consumer is protected by the Fair Trade Commission. I mean, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, um, that states that you can purchase products. They can't upcharge you, things like that, because you will see um, I manufacture caskets, so I look. I'll, I'll sell a casket for a thousand dollars to a customer, and that funeral home will have that same twenty gauge casket for four thousand dollars, which is ridiculous. So that's another thing you can buy outside of a funeral home when you um planning a funeral. Um, and 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 third would be pre planning, lock in today's rates, um, because things change. You know, when I came in this business. People were buying cemetery plots for two hundred fifty dollars, three hundred dollars um, a pop. Now you can get at at minimum you'll pay fifteen hundred dollars for a cemetery plot, and it may not be in such a good spot in the cemetery. To get a prime spot in the cemetery, you'll probably rent about four thousand dollars for a double depth um, cemetery plot, which will be able to fit two people. So pre plan, um, and you don't necessarily have to go to a funeral home. My company, First Advanced Benefits of America, we specialize in funeral funding. Um, we specialize in um, uh, setting up plans that's uh, uh, in preparation of your funeral, whether cremation or traditional burial. Um, so that's another avenue. Um, so those would be my three.